with Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about figuring out the genotype and phenotype ratio. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have completed the Punnett square, and I've got it drawn out here. And now we need to calculate how to figure out the ratio, and also maybe the percent. And in this particular example, tall is dominant over short. Whenever you write the genotype ratio, and remember the genotype is the genetic code, you will write the homozygous dominant, then the heterozygous, then the homozygous recessive. So let's go ahead and write this out. First, let's look for homozygous dominant. We have one of those. I'll write a one. And now for heterozygous, we have one, two. And then for your homozygous recessive, we have one. Now, if we would like for this to be a percent for your genotype percent, remember each box is 25%. So that would be 25%, 50% for heterozygous, and 25% for homozygous recessive. Okay, so we have 25% for homozygous dominant, 50% for heterozygous, 25% for homozygous recessive. Okay, now let's look at the phenotype. And the phenotype will be uh, how many will be tall and how many will be short. So tall will be any time it is the dominant trait. So it will be one, two, three. Because any time you have a capital letter, you get the dominant trait. And then one for short, which is the recessive trait. And if we would like to convert that into a percentage, that will be 75% tall and 25% short. Okay, so there we go. Let's look at another example, and it has um, something you may want to consider. Okay, so we have, uh, let's say, red, and we'll, these will be flowers. Red is dominant over white. And we have a heterozygous parent crossed with a homozygous for the recessive trait. So uh, homozygous recessive there. So first, let's look for homozygous dominant for our genotype. Remember, genotype is your code, and there is zero. For heterozygous, we have one, two. And for homozygous recessive, we have one, two. Now, if you would like, you can drop the zero, and that would be two to two, or one to one. Now, if we want to convert that to a uh, percentage, that would be 1, 2, or 50% would be heterozygous, and 50% would be homozygous recessive. Okay. Now let's look at phenotype. And remember, we're trying to see which one is red and the percentage or the ratio of white. So the percentage of red to white. And so the red is dominant, so that will be 1, two, and then the white will be one, two. And if we want to convert that to a percentage, that will be 50, 50. Okay. And finally, let's look at one more example very quickly. Say you have a codominant situation. And in this particular example, we have a chicken and it can be black, spotted, or white. Spotted is another word for speckled. So here we go. I've kind of set this up to pick up the pace a little bit. So now instead we will have the ratio of uh, the genotype BB, the genotype BW, and the genotype WW. And so that would be 1 BB, 2 BW, and 1 WW, or that would be 25%, 50%, or 25%. And the phenotype ratio, kind of the same thing. Uh, this will be black, this will be spotted, and this will be white. So it's a one to two to one. So there we go. I hope that helps in setting up a genotype and phenotype ratio. Thanks for watching, and Movie Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.